Kaylee's not here. Whitney is. Whitney, how about actual revenue? Um, I, just don't, I don't even know where to start. You don't even know where to start? No. I looked at A. It's on there. Yeah, you got it for A. So that's the 12 million. Yeah. Okay. So let's go back over here. This we've got to manually calculate because we want actual revenue, right? Yes. And we've already talked today about how we can calculate actual revenue. What times what equals total revenue? Oh, um. What times what conceptually? I don't have times in revenues. I'm sorry? Well, okay, well, well, we'll work on that. We'll work on that. But what times what? Conceptually, what times what are we after? Price and quantity, okay. Uh, selling price per unit times volume, okay. Do we have one of those pieces of information? Um, Katie? Um, the price per unit is $2,000 and the volume is $20,000. Yeah, that's what we're going to have to use because we have nothing, no other volume to use, okay. But that's exactly right. Selling price per unit is 2000 Katie, have I called on you today? Yes? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. And, and what we're going to use here is normal volume, okay? So that is 2 times 2 is 4 with a lot of zeros. 4, 2, 2, 2 minus 12,000 dollars equals... 28 million. Okay, so far so good. Awesome. Whitney, are we, or not Whitney, Austin, are we done with this problem? Are we done with uh, East Meets West Company F, or Stone Monument Company F? Have we answered question number two? Not number two. What's number <coughs> two asking us for? I'm sorry? Yes, sir. The company's margin of safety ratio. Jennifer McCarty, what is the margin of safety ratio? Actual revenue minus break even revenue multiplied by actual revenue. Actual revenue minus break even revenue multiplied by Now, given that we've just calculated the margin of safety in dollars, this should be fairly straightforward, right, Mike? Yeah. Give me a number. Okay? Perfect. Melissa, another number, please. Ryan, another number. Are we done? Uh, no. Okay. Um, do the math on that? Well, I was asking for this number. I was going to give you that number. What number were you going to give me? $40 million in the actual revenue goes in both the numerator and the denominator. Do you have the math done? No, sir. Okay. Matt, Michael, do you? He's got a calculator and everything. Yeah. Um, I don't know. You got the calculator. No, it wouldn't be $400 million. You don't think it's working right? Yes, ma'am. Point seven. You want to go, don't you? Oh well, yes, preferably. But it's not quite time yet, so you don't have to pack up yet, ma'am. <laughs> Did it work? <laughs> she's packed. She's putting her book. She's putting her handy handouts away. She's getting ready to go. <laughs> not only because I said something. I watched the. They came out when Dr. Fessler said something. Point seven. <coughs> Davis. Is that good or bad? That's what I wanted as an answer. Is big good or small good? Big is good. 
right? Big is good. 0.7 is pretty darn good, in truth. Okay, so big is good. 0.7, pretty darn good. Whew. Questions, comments, concerns, random thoughts. See, aren't, and, and Katie's taking notes. So I appreciate the fact that you got your handy handouts back out. Yes, we've got a question. You, somebody might want to take notes still. Yes. How did I get what? 40 million minus 12 million. Is that not 28 million? Okay. Darren, did you put your handouts away? No, they're still out. Ah, okay, okay. We'll see you all Thursday.